Hello lovely YouTube family, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Isolab. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss what happened to Ramil the Vane from Harry Potter. I know you guys are really excited, so let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video. Subscribe if you still haven't and turn on the post notification for more videos. The highly successful Harry Potter franchise certainly introduced audiences around the world to an entire group of Hollywood up-and-comers that have since made their mark in the business. Of course, this includes Daniel Radcliffe who famously played the film's titular character. And then, there are also Radcliffe's fellow lead actors, Emma Watson and Rupert Grint. Aside from them, however, the films also feature an incredible supporting cast, which also included a lot of fresh talent. Except for the actor who was meant to play Peeves, of course. Among them is Anna Schaefer who famously played Gryffindor witch Romil Devane in the movies. Schaefer may have only appeared towards the end of the franchise's 8th film run. Nonetheless, it seems the actress made quite an impression since she's become busier than ever since. Anna Schaefer's time on Harry Potter was magical. Schaefer may have the briefest of storylines in the franchise, but it didn't matter. It was her first film, and she loved every minute of it. It was magic, the actress told Greek Girl Authority. I also made friends for life. It was an unforgettable experience. At the same time, Schaefer was aware that she'll probably not find a film project as big as Harry Potter anytime soon. Obviously, coming from such a huge film franchise meant that whatever I did next was going to feel strange. But I feel so lucky that I was young enough that as incredible as the experience was, I still just wanted to be a normal kid and hang out with my friends in the park. The actress explained. I've always just wanted to be in things that I would love to watch myself and feel really grateful and proud that for the most part, that's what I've managed to do. And while Schaefer is yet to sign on to another movie franchise, the actress has certainly already made strides in her acting career. In fact, she scored a highly coveted role in a series that everyone can't stop talking about in recent years. Anna Schaefer got cast in this hit series a few years back. Just a few years after working on Harry Potter, Schaefer scored a role in the Netflix fantasy series The Witcher, which is headlined by Henry Cavill. The actress was cast as Triss Marigold, who becomes a love interest to Cavill's Gerald. Admittedly, the show's first season wasn't as successful as everyone had hoped. One of the problems when season 1 came out was that a lot of game fans thought it would be a replica of the game, but we are adapting books. Schaefer said at the East European Comic Con. Ultimately, fantasy is fantasy. It can have a little bit of fun and have a different take on looks, for example. By the time season 2 came around though, it seems fans were absolutely on board. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, Schaefer also enjoyed working with her Superman co-star, though she isn't one of the series' top earners. Working with Henry was great because he is lovely and right for this character. And while the two may have gotten along really well, Cavill has always believed that his character was never meant to be with Schaefer's Triss. For me, when I play the games and especially when I read the books, I feel it's always been true to Gerald's core as Team Yennefer, the actor told Digital Spy on the red carpet. Anna Schaefer has moved on from Romil Devane. Throughout her career, Schaefer also took on very small roles in shows such as Class, Cuckoo and Zapped. In addition, the actress briefly joined the cast of ITV's Crime Fearless, which saw Schaefer reunite with her former Harry Potter co-star, the late Helen McCrory. Later on, she joined the cast of the British soap opera Hollyoaks. In the series, Schaefer played teen Ruby Button, a character that she believes has been misunderstood. She means well, the actress told Channel 4. Ruby is just a bit lost and easily led. She can definitely be bitchy, but I think she's been misguided. At the same time, Schaefer admitted that the character was someone she shares some similarities with. I hope I'm not quite as pathetic as Ruby, the actress remarked. But I can definitely relate to the struggles she goes through growing up. Beyond The Witcher, it's unclear what's next for Schaefer at the moment. The actress has hinted that she has wanted to pursue more serious work, especially if it involves Shondaland. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video.